I want you to understand that they used every trick in the book and they still couldn't play you. <laughs> oh, I want to say that one more time. They used every possible trick, manipulation, lie, ill treatment. They used every trick, just gaslight. They used everything that they could possibly come up with to play you and it didn't work. I want you to understand what happens when a person awakens to the spirit of the most high that's flowing all up in this environment. Baby, they're able to come uh, rise above spiritually, above the mass consciousness that is significantly low in spirit, low in energy, low in frequency. And they're able to go up a little bit higher. And then the wisdom of God begins to overtake that vessel and they can see the hand of the enemy. It's something wrong with folk today thinking that they can sit up and plot and scheme and be just low down and play you. They expected for you to sit up there and be mad and wondering what's going on all up in your head trying to figure out why they don't talk to you anymore. All up in your spirit, you just confused because you don't understand what you have done. They don't know what to do because you don't care. Every trick that they tried to pull on you, it backfired. Because in order for a trick to manifest in this environment, somebody has to believe what you're doing. In order for somebody to come up and disrupt your flow of God up in your experience, you have to be willing to give that up. In order for somebody to try to run game on somebody, you have to take the bait. And the enemy is mad today because you didn't take take the bait. I want you to understand that it's some stuff and some plots and some scheming that folks try on you. It didn't work and they fell into their own mess. They fell into their own demise. They sitting up there mad today and angry because they didn't get a chance <clears throat> to play you. When you are in the will of God, <clears throat> excuse me, you are divinely protected God opens up the eyes of his sons and daughters when they diligently seek it. And they're mad today because their life is not where they want it to be. They thought that they could sit up and just live off of you. They thought they could sit up and just talk crazy to you and you will always be there for them. They thought that they could run around and put their hands on you and mistreat you and you never would leave. They thought that no matter what they did, they had you so wrapped up in their web of just toxicity that you would never break free. But I heard the Lord said that who the son set free. Come on, somebody. It's free indeed. I want you to understand that your enemy is all kind of mad today because you got set free in the spirit of God. Ho <laughs> ho! They can no longer play you. So there they sit, scratching their heads, trying to figure out what went wrong. Now, baby, it ain't what went wrong. It's what went right. See, because when you hit a dog so many times, one of two things will happen if you continue to hit a dog. They're going to either bite you and you will never do it again. Or they'll be willing to leave never to return again. There's some folk out there thinking that you're going to return to that vomit. They're sitting back there probably doing meditations and trying to do mind trickery today to present energy to you so they can suck you right on in. But because you are in the, the vein of God and you are the apple of his eye, every time they try, you repel them. Honey, I want people to understand a lesson is a lesson. And once it has been mastered, you get promoted. In the kingdom of heaven, you never get demoted when you stay connected to the promoter. And I want to say this just one more time. They mad today. <laughs> because the trick, the plot and the scheming that they presented to you it backfired and they're upset because they didn't get a chance to play you and until the next video guys peace because i'm so proud of you bye now